Hello and welcome to another episode of Android Dev 101. Today we're going to take a quick look at how to easily implement gestures into your Android application. Now in order to accomplish this, we're going to be using a class called Gesture Overlay View. As we see from Google's API description, the Gesture Overlay View derives from the frame layout. Now this is important for us in how we're going to be able to mold the Gesture Overlay View into a certain aspect of our application for this demo. Now if we move back to Eclipse, to our XML for our main activity, we can see that we have a view that's split into two equal pieces. The top part, a black text view with white text, and the bottom part, a white text view with black text. Now if we take a closer look at the XML, we can see that we're using weights to equally split the top half and the bottom half. Weight sums are a great tool to use in linear layouts in order to give certain size proportions to certain aspects. Now we see here our gesture overlay view is taking up the second half of our view and inside of it we place our text view. Now our XML is just as simple as that and let's move back to our Java. Now in the Java in our onCreate we're going to initialize several components including grabbing our gesture overlay view and our text views and then generating our gesture library. Now as you see this uses a file from our raw folder, the spells file, which was generated using a tool in the Android emulator. If we take a quick look at a screenshot, the gestures builder from the gesture emulator allowed us to create three different gestures. Now once we generate this in a gesture li library, we can load that library and any time a gesture is recorded on our gesture overlay, we'll get a callback to our gesture listener, which we have defined here. Now in our gesture listener, we can ask our gesture library to predict which gesture they believe has been performed. Now for this example, we're going to ask it to give us a score of one or above before we decide that that was the appropriate gesture. If none of the gestures match, then you see we're going to display a text that the magic did not work. So for this tutorial demo, in case you haven't picked up yet, we're going to create a special application for people to practice their magic spells on their Android. Well, we've seen everything here in the code. As you can see, it only takes a few lines of code to get gestures working. So let's give it a run on our emulator. Now, as you can see, the application was already running in our emulator. And if we touch and click on the top part of our screen, nothing happens because it's a simple text view. However, once we click on the bottom of the screen, you'll see a yellow line showing our gesture. Now, that was similar enough to our lightning spell to be recorded as a lightning spell. But if we just draw a whole bunch of gibberish, you can see it didn't recognize the spell. But let's align it with our wind spell and the wind spell is received. Now again let's take a quick look at the spells we recorded earlier. It's going to use an algorithm to compare our drawings in the bottom section of the screen to the spells that we have previously recorded and stored in our raw spells file. So let's try a fire spell. And it received it. Now you can play around with the prediction score and different algorithms you can write in the on gesture performed part of the listener to get the results you want. Now it was really that quick, that simple, and that easy to add gestures to any aspect of your application. I hope you enjoyed this episode and it can be useful for you in your application development.